Hey guys, it's Dub with Dub's Cool Finds. Well, I'm trying out a new phone holder, so hopefully this will work, but we'll see. So, happy Friday, happy payday, happy whatever, um, yay! So, I'm out of work, whew, week. It seemed, actually it didn't seem that long. I was gonna say it seemed longer because of my vacation, but no, it actually didn't seem that long. Went smoothly, I was very busy which always helps me. So, uh, yeah, still learning my new job and learning all the different things and learning as much from my coworker as I can before she's gone. But yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a week. I do miss my crew still, but that's okay. I'll live. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and then today was extra special because finally uh, I got my raise. So I got my raise a little while ago, but um, at the same time I got promoted, but the person who was supposed to put it into actual, into my paycheck, um, wasn't, was on vacation, and then when they finally come, came back, then the person who was supposed to tell them to do it, hadn't done it yet, and so finally they got together and I got my raise, so it's a nice payday for me today, nicer. Um, and it comes at a good time because I was, yeah, yeah, I was running a little over there. So I got to work on my budget again this weekend and see what the heck happened. Use the left um, lane to take the I-65 yeah, so East Yeah, I'm so excited by that. Like, hallelujah, that finally came through. And um, tomorrow I have to go, tomorrow or Sunday, I check their hours, but I have to go back to Walmart because I'm looking at my, my gauge. I'm keeping the tire pressure gauge up on my dashboard you know it's part of the system whatever you can pick multiple screens well I'm keeping that screen up because I have a rear tire back there that just keeps going slowly down um, it's supposed to be 33 it's 24 right now but I want to get home so I want to get home and then we'll put more in there tomorrow and take it over to Walmart and say hey was wrong with my tires because I got the guarantee on them. So yay, hallelujah. Um, and I saw I haven't checked that. I just hate sitting in there while they do it. You know, if they've got other stuff going on or if you were with me when I got the tires, remember it took hours upon hours. Oh, and my chest is kind of hurting a little because I had, I've been doing good. I've been eating good since I got home. But today my coworker wanted to go to our favorite Mexican restaurant and uh, I only ate half of the meal. I brought half home for dinner, so it's like one meal. Um, but I had their, they have um, carnitas quesadillas. Delicious. Way too greasy, but I was trying to squeeze out any of the grease. That's my only complaint with them. But um, it's giving me a little bit of like the heartburning kind of thing. So acid reflux, heartburn, whatever. Anyway, I forgot to take the pill when I was at work. In a quarter mile. But I got some at home. Yes, ma'am. She's so bossy, that GPS lady. But anyway, um, all right, let me do some updating. So, Hurricane Milton, if you are in Florida or anywhere in that area, I my heart goes out to you. I hope you are all safe and sound and all your relatives and friends are safe and sound. I don't follow news very much at all, so I didn't even know it was coming. Uh, but my coworkers were texting me when I got back from my trip, like, are you okay? Are you out there with this hurricane? I was like, hurricane? So then I started looking at it a little, uh, and then I realized it was gonna go through Florida, so my parents and my brother live in Jacksonville now. My parents live with my brother Continue in Jacksonville. Continue on I-635 East for I four miles. I will be miles. quiet, lady. And, um, Last Saturday, yeah, last Saturday, this is Friday, last Saturday my son uh, drove to Jacksonville to visit his grandparents, my parents, and my brother's, uh, my youngest brother's best friend who was always kind of like an uncle, you know, to them when they, my kids when they were growing up, he was just called my daughter princess and he'd get things for the kids when he'd see him, he's a sweetheart, and he lives in Jacksonville right near my brother. Uh, and he has extra room and my son said he treats him like a prince when he goes to visit he uh, cooks for him and he's got a room for him and he you know he's just um, he's an amazing guy so yeah um, call out to Bobby D in Jacksonville Florida anyway he doesn't watch this but anyway um, <coughs> excuse me I 
got something while I was gone. And then that COVID, it's not the flu, and I got both of those vaccines before I went on my trip. So it must be some kind of cold or upper respiratory thing. So I'm living on Dayquil and NyQuil, but it's tolerable, so I shouldn't complain. But I do have that cough, so excuse me. Um, anyway, so my son had originally, well, originally he was going to go with his um, girlfriend um, at the time he made the plans. And she has a child, um, which my husband, my husband, huh, I haven't said those words in 30 years, which my son, I wish I could say him again, but anyway, my son uh, adores this child. And it's so strange to hear and see because he's never been a kid person and he's never wanted children or anything and I always thought in the back of my head he'd be good if he got with somebody or adopted a child that was a little older so I forget how old this he's still a child child he's not a teenager or anything but he's not like a baby or toddler and all that kind of stuff so uh but anyway um and he loves my son and my son loves him but they had a little turmoil in the relationship she's been dealing with a whole lot of stuff and I feel for the girl been there done that girl um and sometimes when you just have so much going on you just can't deal anymore and you just kind of clam up and try and get through things and are not able to you know do that whole communicating and all that kind of stuff so she kind of pulled away for a while and crossed my fingers uh he said they're they're still trying so anyway, the trip was meant to, number one, see his grandparents, who he loves, um, and introduce them to this person and, and her son. So that didn't go because, yeah, they're, they're like taking it slow right now, trying to work everything out, let her handle her stuff, and he's doing oh, so much in his house right now, so they're both really busy, complicated people at the moment, and they're just trying. So hearts everybody to say a little prayer for them but anyway he deserves to be happy he really does uh, but so he had a path lined out for his drive in his head um, he was gonna go trust me I do not know directions very well geography but somehow he lives in Knoxville Tennessee and I guess it was North Carolina South Carolina whatever he was gonna go through all these like mountain trails and all these roads and and he's a foodie uh, and so he had all these different restaurants he's gonna hit up on his drive and he had it all and then that first hurricane I forget the name of her but she hit and uh, I saw a couple things I don't watch the news uh, but I saw a couple things on Facebook where they showed these beautiful pictures of like beautiful forest like area and then mud and they were like that's supposed to be a road and they're gone uh, just heartbreaking right um, so he couldn't take that route and had to do an, a different route. So he wasn't as happy about his drive, but he still went and they visited and, um, he, uh, he was going to stay till Wednesday. Um, but then he kept hearing that Milton was, you know, category five. And even if it calmed down, he was like, <coughs> even if it doesn't hit Jacksonville, which it wasn't supposed to. Um, he was worried about evacuation traffic, worried about gas, uh, worried about the rain that he'd have to be driving through and all that, and what it might do to roads, and just the after, you know, the other effects of the hurricane. Like I heard, it still blows my mind, I can't comprehend this logically, that there were 12 tornadoes within 20 minutes, like unfreaking believable because of the hurricane created these tornadoes. Just blows my mind. Like, oh my god, such devastation, such horrible things. But anyway, so my dad was and my brother were telling him, don't worry, you'll be fine. And on the drive home Monday night, yeah, Monday night, uh, he's like, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave early, Mom. And he's like, I can't find gas. And when I find gas, it's premium only, and I don't want to put that in my car because I don't run premium. And then he's like, um, you know, some of them are completely sold out of gas, and I'm just worried, and I want to get home. So I think I'm going to leave early. So he left Tuesday morning. Um, and I was talking to him, and he was like, yeah, I, this is, I'm in so much evacuation traffic. Um, he said at one point, he it was over three hours, he was basically just stuck in traffic, just barely moving uh, and the next time I talked to him he texted me he was in Atlanta and then 
finally he made it home that evening. So yay, he got home safe. So my son is safe. Uh, my parents, my brother, uh, and his wife did well. They just had um, a lot of wind uh, and rain. So they were okay. So yay. But yeah, if anybody, you know, my heart goes out to you that if you knew somebody that was in all that, it's... Mother Nature is not happy with us. I just have to say, my goodness, this is horrible. Um, but yeah, so that's... Who is calling me? That is an obnoxious noise, isn't it? Wow. I'm sorry, I've never heard... If you heard that, I've never heard that ringtone. Weird. Um, but anyway, so that's that scoop. Do I have any other scoops? Oh, I got my car all glued back together. I told you about that, I believe. That I went over a curb and screwed up the whole front end of my car for 60 bucks. They fixed it. It's kind of like glued and puttied and yeah, but it's on there. Um, so that's that. Uh, any other updates? I haven't eating better. Like I said, I was going to try. So I'm trying. But I went and bought, I swear I didn't buy much at all. Did you ever do this? Go to the store. You get some things individually. They don't seem like a lot of money. Um, so I got some stuff for my salads and what else did I get? Some olives and then I got some chicken breasts uh, raw, you know, to cook and I got some salmon, a package of salmon that I had for two nights. Oh, I love that. Um, so I did that. Some apples. Some blueberries. I mean, not much, right? Like, not like whole meal meals, you know? I'm like, I'm just gonna eat some protein and a salad every night. Just some protein and salad. Protein and salad. That should do me good. Man, I get up there and he's like, 70 something dollars. I was like, what? You got what? I didn't buy anything. It, the prices are amazing. Like, what is going on? I feel so sorry for people starting out or young people or people in jobs that just don't pay. Um, I don't know how y'all are doing it, but let's all keep going here. Uh, I'm barely going. I make a decent salary, but with everything that's going on in my life, I'm struggling too, so I get y'all, and this is crazy. Um, do any of you like Trader Joe's? I don't have one by my house, um, but I've gone, well, I do have one. Is that Trader Joe's? No, that's, that's the other one. Is that Trader Joe's? It might be Trader Joe's, but it's like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes from my house. There's none in my town. We all want one, but there isn't one. Um, but there's one across the highway from my work. So one day my co-worker went to lunch, and I had forgotten to bring a lunch. And so I'm like, oh, I could just go get something in the grab-and-go downstairs. But then I'm like, nope, that's not healthy for you. Don't do that. Girl, figure something else out. So I was thinking about it. I said, you know what? I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and check it out. See what they got that's like take and go, you know. Um, and I got this, excuse me, this, um, I don't think it was Mediterranean, but it was, um, felt like that. But it was, oh, this heartburn, I want my Zantac. Um, it was an orzo, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, but also the heartburn makes me cough. I'm just a mess. No, I'm not. But I sound like it. <laughs> um, but there was an orzo salad. It came in a little container. And I love orzo pasta. I don't know. It's not good for you because it is carbs. So I really shouldn't. But um, I got that. And it had like a little bit of lettuce. In, not lettuce. I think it was spinach. And some chicken. No, it didn't. It did have chicken. It didn't have that kind of protein. Um, so I got a little package of little salami kind of meat whatever little thing of that that I just ate nine, for some protein eight, but I had that it had uh, Kalamata olives in it and oh it was so good I want to get that again I think it was four or five dollars and then I got a chicken salad chicken salad chicken Caesar salad um because I'm like I want a couple salads in the fridge at work just you know so it's easier for me to go no, I can't go out to lunch with you. I brought my lunch because I'm really tempted to go out to lunch because I want to talk because, you know, I don't I like to talk to very much. <laughs> so, but that was delicious. And I don't think it was that much more expensive than like a Kroger salad, you know, ready-made salad. But the chicken, so when I get like a Walmart or a Kroger, like chicken salad container thing, 
the chicken's more like that chunked up pieces of chicken and it's just stuck together like I don't know um, but this was like a shredded chicken and it was flavorful and it just I don't know it just seemed healthier I don't know if it was but anyway um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do that a couple days not buy as much salad stuff at home cut, try and cut that bill down a bit um, I won't have to buy the protein for next week because with the chicken breasts um, there was enough in that one package that I, I, you know, I froze a bunch of them. I cooked up four of them. Not four whole breasts, I cut them up, but yeah. Anyway, so I've already got four meals out of it, and then I have more frozen. So I might buy another salmon, but we'll see. I do like to get those omega-3s in. I'm trying like two times a week to do that. And then, um, yeah, so if I can cut down on the home bill, then be able to go and get a couple salads and things ready, just open eat kind of thing from Trader Joe's, then I think I'll be doing pretty good. Now, have I been exercising? No. So yes, I have to get that in, but I haven't been feeling good. <laughs> so I've been sick since I got back. So I really didn't want to have to exercise, but I really need to because what will help me get better exercise. <clears throat> um, so yeah, those salads are really good. They didn't have a huge variety though. That's kind of like, eh. But the ones I got were really good. So I'm going to go back. Or maybe I'll try. What did we get by us? Um, oh, we just got a new Sprouts. So I don't know if they're any healthier or, you know, like that. I, I think they're ex more expensive, though. I think Trader Joe's is a little more. I can't remember who owns Trader Joe's. It's, it's another store that I, I can't remember who it is. If y'all know, let me know in the comments. But I know... I believe they're owned by someone else. Why are we having all this traffic on a Friday at four o'clock? Come on, people, go, go, go back to work. I got off early. You guys should. <laughs> well, I can't get off early, then it doesn't help anything with traffic. <clears throat> okay, so that's all of that. Haven't heard from my daughter or my grandkids in a while, so there's no scoop there. Other than this is her favorite time of the year uh, with Halloween and she's so, so talented with makeup and stuff. So she does makeup, uh, she'll do makeup for people, she'll, like she'll post online that she does makeup and then get appointments and do makeup for adults or children, you know, for parties or whatever all through October. Uh, she even works, I don't know if she's doing it this year, um, she got a side job last year at one of the Halloween towns here. It's weird because I grew up and it was, you know, you'd go to a haunted house and it would just be the haunted house. And here, and I don't know if it's everywhere, but here they have, it's like a, like almost like a village. Like there's a, there's one building and that's like all like ghosts in there or whatever. And then there's this other building. So there's multiple haunted houses in the same little grouping. So you can visit them all at once. And food and drinks and mazes, all that kind of stuff, just all together, so it's kind of cool. And uh, she's already been, I saw on Facebook, she's already been, I told you, she loves this uh, October Halloween thing. I've never gotten into Halloween, but, well, as a kid, of course, but it was for the candy. Uh, but, so I know at work we have a Halloween costume contest, but this, this is not my thing. Now, if she could do my makeup for it, that'd be cool, but she's not going to do that when I got to get up and all that. Um, so, yeah, so she was doing that. She also is with um, a guy that so far, from what I can tell, is decent and caring and good with the kids and is treating her like she should have been treated all this time um, and wasn't. So hopefully she has found someone good and picked someone good and they last. So I'm hoping that for her too. So hoping that for my kids. I wish I could find something myself. But God, date? That word sounds like torture to me. Um, even though I like to talk and everything, I just, yeah, just, it's, yeah. Um, oh, you want me to get off soon? Okay, I'll start skipping over. The other day, oh my gosh, scared the living cojones out of me. Um, even though I don't have cojones. But, <laughs> if I had 
time they'd be gone right now because they'd have shriveled up and left. Um, I was in this, like, this middle-ish lane, and there was a car in back of me. I, I remember that. And there was a car next to me, and there was a semi on this side of me. And I must have been in his blind spot, or he was just really a bad driver, but he decided he was going to come on over. And I'm looking in my mirrors and everything going, okay, I can't stop to let him go because there's a car right on my butt. I can't move to the right because that's where he's coming from. I can't go to the left because there's a car there. So I kind of did two things. I slowed down as slowly as possible, you know, not to have the guy behind me hit me. And then I scooted over to the left as much as I could, hoping that guy would have time to move over to. Luckily, he missed me, but I just was envisioning myself being squished between a semi and a car, and that would not have been a good outcome. So, I thank goodness my guardian angels were out there for me. I, I just always feel like I have them when I'm driving. I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I made it through that one, but yeah, it's, yeah, it scared me. Uh, luckily, I didn't have to tinkle on the way home, because... Um, but yeah, that was my, uh, yeah, my near-death situation, but no, it wasn't, but I don't know what happens to a car when you do that. Does your car just stay there and squish between those things, or does it make you turn, or I don't ever want to know. Um, so if you know, don't tell me. But then, also, that same day, I'm driving, and I'm always very conscious of motorcyclists, right, because of my son, and a guy came out driving on what I call the crotch rockets, you know, those really super fast, ones, like a Harley or a Triumph or a motorcycle. It's those little, littler ones that are like, those ones. Um, and he just came, and it's traffic, like stop and go kind of traffic where people are, you know, suddenly trying to change lanes to think they're going to avoid, you know, like their lane's going slow, so they're going over to this lane, and then they decide that lane's too slow, so then they scoot over here. And they scare cars and this guy was going on the, the stripe line I mean he was between the lanes going between the cars and I just had to like kind of look away because I'm thinking oh my god one person in that line in a split second could just be like I'm changing lanes yeah it would not have been good so I was, I was like already nervous about the truck because I'm not a nervous driver but I was nervous about that truck almost squishing me and then I saw that motorcycle guy and I'm like oh my gosh dude stop stop you and the mom you can't do that to your mom stop it so um yeah that was kind of creepy now here's a guy walking down the bridge and he had a sign that says repent USA and he's carrying a flag of I show my ignorance of flags. Is it Israel? The one that is white with the blue, like Jewish star on it? Is it called a Jewish star? The six point, is it six points? I don't know. Anyway, that flag with the white and then blue outline of a star, yeah. He's walking down the two mile bridge. I wonder, I mean, I know we all have to fight for things we believe in and, and all that kind of stuff, but I don't know how much how much good that does when they like stand on the bridges with the flag, you know, overhead passes with the flags and everything, or walking like that, um, or how much damage it kind of does because I've seen car crashes happen because, you know, people are looking at that and then, yeah, so I don't know if it does good, but my heart goes out to you for fighting for what you believe in and, and trying to get the word out there and yeah, activism. Yeah, we need more of it because this world is so screwed up. Don't keep talking about that, Deb. It's depressing. I know it is, but man, what is going on? It's just ugh, crazy now out there. Um, anyway, so uh, what else? Oh, Brenda, if you're watching, let me know if you convinced your husband or not to go to, to try a cruise. I was hearing from you on the cruise, and then I don't recall seeing a comment on whether he was... I heard you say he was getting more towards it, so let me know. I'm curious. Um, so the rest of you, you know, just a couple of you, um, let me know how you're doing. You know the people I call out a lot, like, you know, Adrian, I hope you're doing good. Um, I love hearing comments from you, girl, and I wish
wish we were closer. We could meet because I think I think we would really a couple of you out there, more than a couple of you out there. I think we could be friends. We're just not close, so <laughs> just gotta be dumb school friends online. But um, yeah, I mean, like it's bad because I don't have people here to do stuff with the majority of the time. So at work, one of the my coworkers. Um, one of her tenants or vendor, somebody gave her a whole bunch of tickets to the state fair. And uh, so she gave me two. And I was like, oh, yeah, give me two. And then after I took them, I'm like, what am I doing with these tickets? I don't want to have anybody go with. Um, if I went with, you know, they even convinced my daughter to go, which would be hard because uh, her hours are so weird and stuff. Um, it wouldn't just be her, it would be the three kids. And then we have to buy tickets and I don't have money for that. Um, so, but it was funny. I was holding, I, was talking to the coworker I like. She was standing in my office door, and I pulled the tickets out of my drawer because I just happened to open that drawer. And I was like, "Did you get any of these tickets?" And she's like, "Yeah, yeah. She gave me she gave me three of them." And I and I went to the state fair with with a couple friends, and she's like, "Why are you inviting me?" And I was like, "Well, I really wasn't, but if you wanted to go, that'd be cool." So we're thinking about doing that. So that would be cool to go with her. But it's kind of hard because we're becoming so close as friends and she's moving in, you know, December, January, back to Houston. So that's kind of sucks. But um, I thought that would be fun if we would go do that. It's not a huge thing I want to do, especially when you don't have, like, a lot of money that you can blow on that day because, well, and I was even double thinking it because she's like, you know, like, parking is like 30 bucks down there. I was like, oh, crud. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because we, whenever I'd gone with my parents in a few, few times before, uh, we always take the train down there and it just stops right at the entrance. You just gotta walk a little ways and, and you're there. But I'm like, mm, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm rethinking it because that's expensive. And then if you want to try the food, that's expensive. It's all bad for you because it's all deep fried. Um, and I don't know anything there I really want to see. Of course, the animals I always want to see. But so, yeah, the basement. But. We'll see how that goes. I gotta, I gotta get out. I gotta get out more, y'all. So, uh, tell me how you do it. I mean, if you've been like on your own in some place that you don't know anybody really, like I've always just hung with family, and now the family's all moving. It's like, uh oh. Um, let me know how you go about doing it, because some of the things I really, really want to do around here are, are like a bunch of like people closer to my age. Uh, but they're a lot of them are retired, so they're doing it all like there's a walking group, but they do it on weekdays, you know, in the middle of the morning. And that I can't do that. Um, there was a game club I tried to get into, and that was like a Thursday morning. Um, YMCA or whatever has has things like that, bingo, different, and they're like during the day, you know. <laughs> I don't get home till so late, but. Um, <coughs> I wouldn't even mind finding a group like that on the weekend, but I haven't found any. So, I'm looking. Okay? I'm taking baby steps. Do I have time in my life to do baby steps? Probably not. But I'm taking baby steps. Just, just let me do it. Um, which is so weird because I am so confident with doing this. I am so confident with just talking to strangers. Um, I'm very confident traveling alone, talking to people. I have like I said, I had the best cruise. Met a bunch of people, talked to everybody. It's my follow through. I don't have follow through. Um, I'm not as confident with that. And then I think some of you might understand um, if you're single and have been that way for a while, you kind of get in your little groove of, you know, you go do this, you come home, you do, you have know, just little routines at home and the way you spend your time and you just get in this rut and uh, it's kind of uncomfortable to be like, oh, I gotta put clothes on and go out and do something, you know, <laughs> that thing. So, um, I don't know. I just, yeah, I mean, it's not like I'm lonely. I'm not. I don't think I've ever been the kind of person that's been lonely. Um, I can be alone, but I'm not lonely as in like, oh, I wish I had something to do. No, I'm never like that. If I want to go see a show, I'll go see a show. If I want to go eat someplace, I'll go eat someplace. If I want to go shopping on my own, I'll just go. So I have no no lonely. So that's not it. And I, and I don't think I'd be thinking about it as much, except my coworker, when it's leaving. 
keeps telling me, you know, you gotta get out there more. You gotta get a group of friends. You gotta, da, da. And it is hard for me. And it's, I don't, do I really want that? Or am I just letting her tell me I want that, you know? But, um, because if I ever retire, if I'm ever financially able to retire, then I could do all those things that are in the daytime. They fixed our, our gate in our subdivision, which Caution. I hate. Road hate with restricted access. Absolutely hate it. I think it's expensive. It breaks all the time. It's useless because it's it's false security because anybody can get in here. Just wait for somebody else to come and then just follow them in. Uh, but it's a pain in the tushy, so I don't like it fixed. <laughs> and I think it's wasted money because that thing ain't gonna be fixed more in a month or so and somebody's gonna hit it and break it. Anyway, so I'm home almost. I gotta go down the hill. Last two nights, because I come home at seven-ish, after seven, um, days are getting shorter. Doesn't that suck? These are getting shorter. But as I come down my hill here, I'll get a view between the trees all of a sudden. And there's the lake. And I tried taking a picture for you, but the colors don't come out right. But so was the lake was nice and blue. And then two nights in a row, the sun was just pinks and oranges and purples. And the sun was setting. Absolutely. I mean, I just stopped at the top of the hill. It was kind of like, oh, that's amazing. Mother Nature's amazing. So, um... She's a woman I look up to. But it was just absolutely exquisite. So I took a picture. I'm like, I gotta show my people. And then when I looked at the picture, it was just like all blue. I'm like, is there a trick with our phones? Does anybody get like good sunset pictures? I don't know if you've seen mine before, but they'll be colorful, some of them, out of my windows. But they're not the color that is in real life. The real life colors just blow your mind. So you know the trick to that? I have a Samsung Galaxy. If you know the trick to that, let me know because I'd love to send you some of these amazingly beautiful pictures. Um, all right, I'm going to let you go because I am home. My car is off. We are here. So over the weekend, I'm going to do my tires. Yes, I will do your tires. Um, and then, but I do, I'm not driving totally unsafe because I did buy from Timu that, um, it's right back here. Um, the, the little, I'm trying to think of the name of it, my brain's tired. Um, that little machine where you plug it in, uh, to your car and then it can fill up your tires, air pressure, whatever. So, I won't be stranded, I've got that. At least that. But I'm keeping track and making sure I get it up to 30 and then by the time I get to work, it was like 26. And then when I got home, it was like 24. So it's really slow and it's not, knock on wood. It's not going flat, flat yet, but I got to get fixed um, and do that. And then I'm hoping to feel good enough to go out and do something physical. No promises because my head's just clogged up and the coughing and the breathing. And I get winded really fast because of all of this. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, thank you for riding home with me. It felt like minutes. It was actually... Well, I left at 3.30 and it's now 4.20, so it was quite a long drive. I didn't talk to you the whole time. I was listening to Sirius. There is a channel on Sirius. What is it? Channel 109, if you have Sirius, called Stars on Sirius. And um, in the afternoon, for here at least, in the afternoon, um, and in the evening when I drive home, I'll get pieces of it. There's one that's called, oh shoot, Smartless, Smartless? I think it's Smartless. Um, it's Sean Hayes, the actor, Jason Bateman, and Will, and I can't think of Will's last name, but he's he does the, um, he was in the Lego movie, the, the little Lego cartoon movie, he was in that, he's had series, I can't think of anything else to do, but anyhow, Will's something. Uh, but they do this uh, podcast, and it's on that channel, and they'll bring in, they'll talk to each other, and they're just goofy, and then they'll, one of them will bring in a surprise guest, and then they'll interview them, and that's been really interesting, so uh, they were inter interviewing um, Natalie Portman today, so I listened to that till it ended, and then I got on with you guys, so you made the majority, you were with me the majority of my ride, and you made it seem 
so quick. So thank you for being my passenger and keeping me safe and helping me change lanes and stuff. You were awesome. No truck tried to kill me today. And uh, I hope you have a great Friday and a great weekend. And I hope you all are doing well. I hope you are safe from this horrible Milton dude that came blown through Florida. And um, I hope we get some sane weather for a while and everybody can have some peace of mind. And, and I hope they get those all those roads back to some beauty again. And it's just so sad. Anyway, love you guys. Love you for being there. Love you for being my passenger. Please hit the thumbs up if you desire. Share, subscribe, and comment. All right, bye.